Hey everyone, it's Harold Eno H here, back with another Breezeball Pro Review video. Before we start, if you're new around here, feel free to subscribe to check out all my other Breezeball Pro Review videos. So right now you are looking at our latest, greatest, newest model, uh, the Breezeball Pro Vaporizer. As you can see on the box, it has a completely new design, many new cool key features which I'll demonstrate later in the review. Um, what is important though is that you go follow Breezeball Pro on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram, just at Breezeball Pro, all one word. They give you safe, fully compliant boards for all the UK safety standards. They're tested, they have over 500 safety certificates covering things like the motors and the wheel, the batteries, the little key fob that you get just here and all of the other bits and bobs that you'll find inside the board. So first of all, let's just take a look at the general brand new design of the all new Breezeball Pro Vaporizer. First of all, you'll notice obviously the special feature which is the smoke counters on top, which again I'll demonstrate later. Uh, but the general gist of the design is the same as the older ancestor of this board called the Chicane, which is now discontinued board sadly. But the, the general design is more open wheels now with less cover from the mud flaps, which does look quite nice in my opinion. Uh, it has wider wheels with more tread in them, which is better for turning tight corners, especially on the car. This board is squared off to fit the car properly. Uh, the Breezeball Pro Vaporizer only comes in one colour, which is this black matte finish, but in my opinion, I think it looks really nice, especially with this Breezeball Pro logo on the front, loud and proud. These white lights here, these are colour changing ones. On the new boards, including the Phantom and X Trail, they are actually on the back, but on the vaporizer, they're on the front, so that's what you're greeted with first. It's almost not like a mobile disco. If we turn round the board, you'll see on the back, there's these nice white lights so you can be seen from behind, covered by neon green outlines. That looks just great. It's an ex extra spice up to it. On the top, you're greeted by the same foot pads and these little battery and calibration indicators, and obviously the new rim design, which doesn't scratch as easily, which looks a lot, lot better. So as I mentioned, there's new wheels, same style motors, hub motors built inside the wheels, dual 250 watt motors, so in total you've got 500 watts of power at your feet, just what you need when you need some good balancing technology and to be able to speed around the city or the rural areas if you really wish to. Along with the new motors comes a new way that these motors are activated and works. So this is known as self-writing technology. On the old boards, you turn on your board, put your foot on the pad and when it senses pressure, the motors will activate and balance you. On the new boards, I tilt it forward and turn it on. You're greeted by the new Bruce board Bluetooth ready. And you see the board self balances there. This self writing technology should stop the board from rolling in an event of falling off or accidents, or even just pushing it around. What that means is that when I push this board, it will not fall over. It creates resistance. So these motors are always, if I lift at the board, you can see they're always activated when you're off the board. When you step on it, there's still pressure pads, this resistance goes away and allows you then to activate your motors and move about. Also when you step on you then see these colour changing lights and white lights which I'll show you later in the dark conditions when they look extra cool. In my opinion the self writing technology is an absolutely brilliant advancement in the Breezeball Pro technology. It's just such a great feature to have by your side and to be able to rely on should you hit something like a stone and coincidentally fall off or just knock your board when you're waiting for it to start up again. It's just brilliant to have it there, so if you do fall off, you don't roll and crack the top shelves. In the box with the Breezeball Pro Vaporizer, like all the other Breeze boards, you get a carry case with it. Uh, with this new one, you get a small canister that you can put the water in and squirt into the valves in here to fill up the canisters. And you also get the classic Breezeball Pro key fob. This key fob allows you to start up the board from being stood back and also lock the board as well so people then when they step on can't use it. The Breezeball Pro Vaporizer isn't to be mistaken for a fantasy style board. It's actually a very capable board. Thanks to its chunkier tyres and more sturdy design, it's more than capable of covering both gravel, pavements and also grass. So with the Breezeball Pro Vaporizer you get the all-inclusive Bluetooth speaker in. If I turn on the boards, you'll hear the voice. Breezeboard Bluetooth ready. New on the 2018 boards. Breezeboard connected. 
and there's an indication that it's connected. And then simply go to your music library, here's a no copyright track for you to listen to, and choose whatever song you want to play, and turn up the volume. As you can hear, great sound quality from such a small sweep in the bottom of your board. So before we cover the smoke jets, let's first of all cover the lights. If I turn on the board, you'll see that when I step on, the front colour changing lights activate and also it's covered by the white one on the back. On screen now you'll see these in the dark where they look absolutely the best. So let's cover the best feature of this board, the smoke jet strings. Now before I start I must stress, this isn't a chemical, it's very easy to be mistaken that you fill this with some type of chemical. It's just pure water, it can be tap water, it can be spare rain water. I wouldn't recommend tap water in areas where the water's hard because you can get scale inside it. I haven't tested it though personally. These smoke jets on full tanks, which is about 150 millilitres of water per canister, last around 40 minutes in my testing. I, I have I range between anywhere 30 to 40 minutes. Breezeball Pro claim it's 12, so you'll definitely get what they claim. On the bottom of the board, you see this magical red button. When you click that, the smoke jets start up out the back and you're accompanied by a nice sound. If I turn on the board, turn around, you'll see they also have some nice blue and red lights which make a nice purple UV effect which you'll see now in the dark again on screen. So to fill up the jet streams on the vaporizer, simply turn off the board and tip it backwards. When it's tipped backwards, you're going to press in these red buttons on here before you'll hear a pop of the valve. Press them in and use about 100ml of water per canister, push it in and simply pour into there. You'll see on screen now a close up of me doing so. so much for watching my review on the Breezeball Pro Vaporizer, it's always highly appreciated. Feel free to check out the rest of my channel, including my other Breezeball Pro videos on both the Hover World World Track, Breezeball Pro Electric Commuter Scooter and also the Boogie, which was filmed quite a while back now, but you still get completed free with this board. In the whole, the board costs £450, although I have no doubts it will more than likely go on a Christmas offer. Uh, especially for the money, it's definitely worth it considering what you get with it, including the free buggy worth an extra £80. Feel free to follow me on Instagram, underscore HarryH03, underscore, it's all lowercase one word, and also follow Breezeball Pro on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, at Breezeball Pro. That's all from me. Happy Swagway Ride.